let's get started now we are discuss what is protagonist protagonist pronouns protagonist is just another word for main character the story circle around this character experiences and the audience is in invited to see the word from his or her perspective note note that the protagonist is in is necessity a good guy although most of the time the protagonist is some kind of hero sometimes we see the whole story from the perspective of a villain most stories have only one protagonist but it, it's entirely possible to have a story that weaves together multiple dif- different perspectives in such a stories a story the different narrative thread should all get right together in the end for example the word hero originally derives from heracle the green greek name of our heracles some many of our heroes protagonist are based in some way in this are typical hero whose tremendous strength allowed him to slay monster that no one else could defeat in modern story our heroes tend to be more complicated than the classical monsters slay not allowed though plenty of mod- modern superheroes can be seen doing better with gain descriptive monsters second example villain protagonists are some created by retelling classical stories from the perspective of the villain for example john gardner's grendel tells the story of buol from the monster's perspective in the story grendel starts out as merely misunderstood not evil years of abuse however ultimately turn him into the monsters we see in buol third examples bilbo baggins from the hobbit is a good example of a sporting protagonist the major event surrounded thron of kenshield the exiled dwarf king trying to reclaim his kingdoms but Bilbo, a simple member of Thrawn's company, is the main character. Is a narrative as told by Tolkien and Peter Jaw Jackson. Hero types of protagonist. Hero most protagonists are heroes. That's they are good guys and have the audience full sympathy. The hero is morally up. upstandings and usually some kind of leader either of a smile wrecking band or a massive army either we are hero is morally right and generally less in need in need of development than other characters anti hero anti hero is one who has characteristics completely opposite to those of an ordinary hero this may apply to the character's psychology for example loners in mentally ill paper atheist for example a hero who doesn't follow ordinary moral codes or just personality for example sarcastic cynical or hero an anti hero may be in a moral gray area or make as feel uneasy in some way but such characters are ultimately redeemed they are still heroes after all villain unlike an anti hero a villain is never redeemed this character is just a bad guy but in some case the villain is also the protagonist or the main character of the story for example the protagonist of american psycho is the serial killer's but patrick batman whose attempt actions are in no way justified by the plot
spotting protagonist most uh, protagonists are major character in their own right whether they are heroes anti heroes are villains they are central to all the actions that takes place in the story occasionally though a writer will experiment with the spotting protagonists or a main character who is more peripheral to the event for example the most important person at the white house clearly president obama but you might have a story set in the white house in which the main character is the president's chief of staff or one of his aides in this case the protagonist has a supporting role the events despite being the central figure of the story the importance of protagonist protagonist gives the audience someone to focus on and lend narratives unity to the story without a protagonist the story various elements would have nothing to tie them together and if the protagonist is boring then the story will watch become palling and readers won't care what happens next in general the protagonist is the person that the audience relates to we imagine ourselves in her shoes suffer with her failures and exile exult in her success of course this is definitely not the case with a villain protagonist in those cases we want the protagonist to lose in the end examples protagonist in literatures the protagonist shifts somewhat in g r r tolkien's lord of the kings in the first book it's clearly frodo pagans whose perceptives define the trajectory of the narrative whoever in the later book frodo parts away from the rest of the fellowship and for several book of those who are at the least were distinct plot lines one with frodo as the protagonist and the other with the aragorn who as aragorns as the protagonist second examples just sheer log holmes straddles the line between hero and anti hero he uses uh, cocaine so, which makes him seem somewhat it's and um, dangerous to modern audience although victorian readers would wouldn't have been faced by this in addition so sometimes overstaps his role as a de- detective by lighting prepatriates go free if we sympathize with their actions and threaten them with that rather than rest watson in this book is the narrator and some readers would argo the protagonist as well but at most he is a sporting example of protagonist is popular cultures firstly the two classical superheroes superman and captain american are so influential our hero as a heroes that they have begun to see boring and generic they to me audience they are morally uncomplicated fearless and possess all uh, qualities of strength and leadership that we accept from a classical hero as the comic book world have grown increasingly cynical and ironical these characters have decreased in popularity and writers have begun to uh, subvert their heroism in various way for example recent depictions of captain american have saw shown him as we egotistical meddler someone we struggle to go a little and often earns a resentment from his foil world rather than loyalty example of protagonist in popular cultures the star war moves 
exemplify many of the trope themes in this articles in the logical trilogy the protagonist is lokash skywalker a pretty typical hero notice this that lokash personality is fairly generic throughout the films making it easily for people especially young people to relate to him the detroxist however and so who hovers somewhere in between a hero and anti-hero eric crot cartman from south park often come comes in as a villain protagonist he is pretty irredeemable and usually does does evil things out of sheer narcissism and spite rather than out of any sense of justice yet he clearly the main character of many episodes okay do like share and subscribe thank you